Florida is having to cover up her coconuts, was it? <laughs> her palm tree. Palm trees. She planted a palm tree last season, and she doesn't. It's just a little <laughs> baby one. So Aww. she went out. There were sheets completely covering it. They just didn't know what to do in Florida. Oh you know, goodness. everyone was freaking out. In a Personal panic. Problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are continuing to track some ice and snow today. Just some of the leftovers from what ended yesterday morning. Here's a look, live look from our Mugabug Neighborhood Weather Network camera. I want to show you how conditions appear. A beautiful blue skies. Soak up the sunshine while you can. 21 degrees in Colorado Springs in Woodland Park. Still a lot of snow on that tree there. And a lot of the main thoroughfares have been cleared, but I just be aware of areas of black ice. Right now, temperatures range in the teens and the single digits. Northern El Paso County, a similar story to the south and to the west. 20 degrees in Wetmore, 12 right now for Walsenburg, 7 for Trinidad. Bundle up as you head outdoors. Live HD Doppler radar, thankfully calm this morning. We get a bit of a break before the next storm impacts us tomorrow afternoon. So enjoy the sunshine again while we have it. As we spin you through your sky cast, you'll notice just a lot of that activity staying to the south and to the west, leaving us with partly to mostly sunny skies, hopefully melting some of that ice and snow. Also tracking Light winds, most, mostly. As for your snow tracker, this starts tomorrow and lasts through Thursday, potentially Friday morning. Two to four inches possible northern El Paso and Teller counties, tracking one to three inches for Colorado Springs, one to two for Pueblo, two to four to the east of Walsenburg and Trinidad, and three to five in certain areas, especially just to the west of that. Highs today ranging in the 30s and in the 40s. As for that seven day forecast, take a look. 39 is today's high. We're tracking a cool down on the way, 23 Thursday. That snow lasting through Friday morning. Here's the bottom line. If you need to travel this weekend, Friday afternoon through Saturday morning might be the time to do it because Saturday afternoon, Old Man Winter hasn't had his full say yet. Temperatures dropping to 29 Sunday. In Pueblo, a similar story Wednesday all the way through Sunday, tracking cool, cloudy, and snowy weather. Temperatures dropping uh, from 40 degrees to 28 by Thursday. In Canyon City, it is a similar story, so Friday afternoon, Saturday morning might be the best time to uh, hit the road, but of course, check conditions with us. These storms won't be as severe as what we saw last weekend. However, because they're so close together, there's not a lot of time for that melting to happen, so you could just expect a snowy and slushy drive uh, for several of these days. But again, forecasts can always change. We have several um, forecast models and updates to go through before we hit these storms. So uh, keep it right here at KRDO News Channel 13. 33, today's high for Teller County. Bundle up. I'll have your day planner coming up during our Good Morning America cut-ins. That is the consistent thing about weather is that it's always changing. It's always <laughs> changing. Isn't that strange? Amazing. Thanks, Amazing. Abby. Yeah. Now we're going to check in with Mike Lewis.